New Lexus LC500H 2017 Review The striking new Lexus LC500H takes an innovative approach to hybrid performance. Verdict 4 Star Sometimes the use of newfangled technology can detract from the driving experience. But that's not the case with the new Lexus LC500H. It's a great grand tourer, and borders on a being a good sports car. The hybrid engine and innovative CVT gearbox might not be a traditional approach to this type of car, but techies will love it. And with the usual Lexus attributes of quality, refinement, and comfort, it's an exciting pointer to Lexus's future. A high-performance Grand Tourer is not the most obvious place to find the usually languid combination of a hybrid engine and CVT automatic gearbox. But Lexus has persevered with both over the years, so it's no real surprise to see them on offer in the stunning new LC500H. But with a twist. First, let's just drink in what is a design that's sure to turn heads. It's not traditionally beautiful there are too many sharp edges and intersecting lines for that but from the low spindle grille, shallow lead headlights, front wings that sit so low over the front wheels, floating roof, and 3D effect rear lights, there's plenty to keep you, and passers-by, interested. Lexus hasn't really hit the high notes with its sportier models, since the Alfa Supercar in 2010. But there's a determination about the team behind the LC, led by Toyota CEO and Lexus master driver Akio Toyota, that we haven't seen before. There's a V8 version for the traditionalist, but this hybrid will surprise a few people and keep tech fans happy it really is very clever. So let's deal with the CVT gearbox and its oft-criticized rubber band feel. Even Lexus folk agree it hasn't been perfect, there are some aspects that I myself as a CVT user wish were different, Kojo Oshima, LC hybrid system engineer told us. Of course, when it comes to efficiency and allowing an engine to work at its optimum level, a CVT is ideal it just doesn't sound or feel very nice. So Asha Mason and his team have added a 4-speed transmission to the back of the CVT box. With three engineered steps in the CVT for each of the first three gears in the standard box, plus the fourth being effectively an overdrive, it means, in essence, you get a 10-speed gearbox just as you do in the V8. Lexus calls it a multi-stage shift device, but does it work? Surprisingly, perhaps, yes it does. Where you used to floor the throttle and win CE as the engine revs rise and stay there, the 4-speed box will change down a whole gear, that means going from 9th to 6th on the 10-speed scale, and move through the gears much the same way as a traditional auto would. It even offers slightly slicker changes. There's still a slight hold of the revs before a ratio is swapped, but along with a lovely engine note that's enhanced and fed into the cabin mechanically rather than electronically. It adds to the enjoyment of the car especially if you get a kick out of knowing how the tech is working under the skin. Performance-wise the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint is only a fraction slower than the V8. The extra weight of the hybrid system also seems to make the ride a bit firmer, but not uncomfortable, whether you're in Echo, Comfort, Normal, Sport or Sport End modes. For a GT, the hybrid can be hustled well. There's plenty of grip, the steering is accurate if not alive with feedback, and the rhythm that Lexus's engineers talk about is there in abundance as you flow from corner to corner and punch through the, mostly artificial, gears. It bodes well for other models that will use the LC's new GAL, Global Architecture Luxury, platform, starting with next year's new LS Limousine, as well as the new GS and IS models. The LC's interior is a mixed bag of delightful details like the door panels that flow through to the bonnet lines and on towards the grille and ergonomic mishaps. There are too many buttons and Lexus's infuriating remote touch control for the infotainment system remains. Quality is exceptional, though, and the seats are really comfy, whether you go for this luxury spec with material that flows over the seat shoulders like Superman's cape, or the grippier seats in Sport and Sport and models. Sport also changes the roof from glass to carbon fiber, 
while Sport and adds a limited slip differential, rear wheel steering and active aerodynamics, basically a lift-up rear spoiler. With the car not expected in the UK until next summer, it's tricky to estimate pricing given varying exchange rates, but Lexus expects prices to start from around £80,000. Key Specs Model, Lexus LC500H Luxury Price, £80,000, EST Engine, 3.5 liter V6 petrol electric hybrid Power, 354 bhp Transmission, 10 speed CVT automatic, rear wheel drive 0 to 60 miles per hour, 4.7 seconds Top speed, 155 miles per hour Economy slash CO2 44.0 mpg slash 149g slash km EST Equipment, alloys, keyless go, climate control, SAT NAV On sale, summer 2017